Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Victoria 2. So right now, let's just go over what we're going to do. It's 1836, January 1st, and we're playing as the Ottoman Empire. Now this is not going to be easy, and I plan on struggling quite a bit with this nation, but regardless. We're going to start with positivism, just to get a little more education efficiency. And then I'm actually going to do romanticism, so that this way we get some more prestige. Because at 7th spot, for great powers, we ain't doing so well. And, and eventually we're going to grab some experimental railroad, and then some medicine. Uh, I haven't even unpaused the game yet, so let's see. We got two national focuses. We'll probably put some bureaucrats over here. We still allow slaves. Alright. Whatever. That uh, seems like uh, 110,000 people there. There's quite a few people around here. It, it doesn't really matter where we put them. Just put some bureaucrats in first, and then some, maybe some intellectuals. That'd be good. Our starting army is okay, but we begin at a war immediately with these guys, which is interesting. We're at war with Tripoli already. Uh, but because these are my friends and Egypt loves us, I'm going to call them in. Very good. And right now we're actually allied to the Russians, which is not bad. But, you know, there are other people around that we might want to improve relations with. Maybe the UK, maybe Austria, maybe even Prussia to a degree. I think that'd be probably a smart idea. I'm actually going ahead and we're going to build some more ships. Mostly because I do want to justify and go to war with other people. Uh, I, eventually, I do want to go to war with Persia because they do have some coal in Tabriz, I believe, maybe? Maybe not? They have a nice population over here somewhere. Ah, uh, there's coal. Persian Tabriz. I definitely, definitely want that. But I'm going to wait maybe until they integrate these other nations around them. And of course, with the Ottoman Empire, we have Egypt as a satellite. And we've got a bunch of minorities in the country. Um, I'm not even sure who these people are. Let's see, we've got Bhutan. We've got a lot of Kurds, Armenians. Uh, even more Kurds, Mashriki, Assyrians. We've got some more Kurds, some Turks, some Assyrians, some Armenians. And then Kurds and Armenians and Assyrians and Turks. So, there's a lot of people within our borders. Hopefully we can integrate them. Hopefully nothing bad will ever happen to them. But I want to go to war with, well, Pontianic. Just because it gives us an entryway into Asia. They've got, you know, precious metals, which is always nice. And that no one is around them for now. For now. If we wait too long, well then... The Dutch will come for them, so I'm going to go ahead and establish a protectorate. It costs us 15 infamy points, which is a whole heck of a lot. Oh my gosh, that's so much. Next up, uh, our army isn't great. That's why I want to borrow their soldiers. Uh, yeah, I just want to borrow their soldiers so our soldiers don't die. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and build up like... 1, 2, 3... Um, I guess 4, and then 5, just to see what happens. Uh, go do that too. 6. We'll do 6. Uh... Spend a little bit more, spend as much as we want on there. We're going to need to tax a lot of people here, unfortunately. More education, which actually might be a bad thing. Do that as well. Tariffs, probably got to be, uh, well, it doesn't really help us out much, does it? We make any money? We make a little bit of money, not bad, not bad. Social spending, don't believe in that right now. Money, there you go. At least we have got to make a positive amount with Egypt here. Got to wait a month so we can take them out. Actually, can I call you guys in too? Yeah, students is in our alliance as well. Good luck with that, Tunis. Good luck. We're six in the world. Also, some people did recommend we should build some industry early on. Now, we have here... Actually, we're an absolute monarchy, which is kind of cool. We also have the modifiers of Christian Depression. We also have Giza, which we saw when we played Sokoto. And we have oppressed religious minorities. It is what it is. You know, we're going to have a good time. We have abolished the Pact of Umar. We can secular society. We have the Tanzimat reforms, which we will need to do eventually. Our claims of Montenegro, and Wallachian and Moldavian self-rule, eventually, hopefully. Centralize the Kurdish states, that'd be kind of fun. Turkish tea, of course. If you want to read about that, go right ahead. And occupy the Syrian desert. What do you mean, occupy? It's a rightful piece of Ottoman territory, and then officially recognize Circassia and Dagestan. Cool stuff, we got a little bit of revanchism, a little bit of plurality. Obviously not enough, but we'll see how far we can get. Now, what was I going to do? Oh, that's right. Yeah, this one. So we have a party here. They're okay. Interventionism is okay. Pluralism is okay. I'm going to go with this party, the reactionary, just because I want state capitalism so we can start building things in our territory. People aren't going to like that, but you know what? Whatever. So, uh, uh, let's see. Take a look at here. So, I want to build up, like, bottling works, maybe? Maybe some glass? Maybe early on? We need more coal. That's something that's going to be very, very important. We have sulfur for fertilizer. Required insert for days. So fertilizer. Let's make one fertilizer factory. See what happens. Just so we can have at least something here instead of being 149th in terms of industry. So you guys have sulfur and coal. That's not going to be enough coal. Ooh. 
So let's build up a fertilizer factory. As well as something that uses coal. Glass would not be bad. Textiles wouldn't be bad. Um, I'm going to go with glass. Cool. Not bad. And we're immediately six. Great. Even though our military just isn't looking great. Whatever. Hope you guys are having a great day. Now, I'll be honest. I've not played this before. I, I've probably played Ottomans like, in my own time before, but... It's been so long, and I've never actually played it on the channel before, so... We'll see what happens! But we did something with the Persians. I do want to take them out, like I said earlier, so we'll see what happens with them. Just keep making more... Oh, God, we already got found out. God dang it. And also, I'm influencing two Sicilies early on, just because I think that'd be probably a good idea for us. And some people don't like that. The French probably don't like that we're influencing them. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Are we winning here? Oh, hopefully we are. Um, we're not that... We're, we're the Ottomans. We are not that advanced. Like, let's be real. We are not that advanced. We have a big old army here, which would be great. You know what? With the Egyptians here, I love the Egyptians. Egyptians are great people. They would never hurt us, never do anything bad to us, so that's why I'm sending their armies in to uh, station themselves over here and totally let them live. Especially walking straight through the desert. They'll never hurt us, right? Right? Oh, Spicacia, they annex them. So, we always got to keep an eye on what's going on over here, too. Because even though we're allied with the Russians for now, they're going to come knocking and say, Hey, Mr. Mokolava, would you like to join our uh, area here, our nation? And I'd be like, no, 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 please leave me out of it, Russians. Please don't invade cars. Please, for the love of God, I got business to do in cars. Actually, I'm going to move you probably to Adirne. Adirne. Mission to Pontiac, if you'd like to read this, go right ahead. What are you talking about? Which actually is not bad, seeing as we've already been found out. Gives me a little bit more... T actually, actually, it gives us more time to deal with that stuff later on. And actually, if I do think about it... That's not bad. Because huh. I, I want to make more ships so we can send some soldiers over. But I would like to send some Egyptians over there first, but whatever. At least get some sort of conquest done early on. Now, I could go to war with Algeria, but I'm not feeling like it. Algeria is nice and all, but... Hmm... They don't really have good RGOs, and it's, as long as I can get some, like, precious metals, that's pretty nice to get, right? Ooh, so we have these guys made, which is nice. Over here, we got a... Oh, there we go. Let's see. Oh, our regulars. Let's go and get rid of those two. I mean, that's that's just a waste. That's literally just a waste. All right, so we're going to go need more... Oh, look at all these. I've never seen them as blue. I've never really used them as blue before. Actually, let's take a look at the Ottoman Empire. So, right now, we're trying to get some bureaucrats in Thrace and Ankara... Only 35% of our population is Turkish. That is really bad. 14%-ish are Bulgarian, 70% is of Greek. Oh, man, it must not be good being as a Turk in this timeline right now. Hmm. Well, I guess it is historical, so... <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Have I... Can I delete these soldiers? What happens if I delete them? Did I just... Did I just die? Hmm. Question to ask. Always questions. Good questions to ask. What if I death stacked you right here? And by death stack, I mean you guys are going to die there. I'm going to have my guys go home and have a good time in Mers Mersin. That's what are you guys looking at? Not bad. Actually, really, you guys are just going to stay here. I'm going to send you on the boat anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Oh, man, we're losing money. I don't want to lose money. 143. Let's see. How is the construction of this facility going? Good, good, good. We could expand it. Uh, yeah, Izmir would probably be best to expand. It doesn't cost us that much. We might as well. Antalya? Why not? Mersin? Sure. Uh, Famagusta? I'm going to do Limassol. It doesn't cost too much to get a naval port in all these areas, so we're going to go ahead and just put them all in here. Uh, Albania? I don't believe in Albania. So you guys go right there. We already have a port here, maybe? Oh, it's on this side. Salonika, Salonika, and then you guys over here. We would have a port being built there. I love the existence of port, uh, not Portugal, Bulgaria not ha happening. That's good. I like that. Portugal, thank you. Thank you very much. Mm, Kavala, Kavala, yeah, Kavala, very good, very good. And how about around here, Bursa. I like Bursa. Bursa is a nice place, I guess. Castamonu. Mm. Engirsum Trabazon. 
And we'll put it right... Oh, that's a lot of pop... That's a lot of population. Nice. And down here, Basra, too. Don't want to forget Basra. And we've got a lot of satellites, a lot of puppets and such like that, but never enough, of course. What if I deleted... Can I actually delete you? I'm going to put you in the desert. I'm literally going to just put him in the desert. Because I love the Egyptians. They would never hurt us. Right? They would never hurt us. So, let's go and see. Well, actually, let's give it another month. Now, they might wipe pieces out once these guys are done. Ooh, burn defaults. If you'd like to read about that, go right ahead. Whatever. I don't really care. So, I want to see what happens after another month. Oh, look at this. Two Sicilies. Yes. Two Sicilios. Peace opinion. Nice. Voting retro city in Nicaragua. So be it. So, let's take a look. Alright, so let's try an experiment here. They're looking not too good. So, if I delete them... Is it, do I actually delete them, or do they just go back to Egypt? Wait, do they, do they get deleted? Nice. Nice, very good. You know what? I'm going to wait till the very end of the month, and then delete them. Well, it actually doesn't really matter. But we did... You literally delete them. Yes, please. So, here's what we're going to do. Oh, they made some more divisions. Oh, that sucks. But, anyways, I'm going to fade in and fade out, and we will head on over to Pontiac, and I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, everyone, so here we are at the streets of Johor, in which we are now ready to go towards Pontianak. Cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We won't call in our allies, and we get two prestige, too, once we win this war. Now our ships are looking very, very bad. And our soldiers, well, don't ask about how they're doing. They're probably a little bit seasick right now. But, whatever. That's totally okay with us. Well, for now. Let's go ahead and try to finish this up as fast as possible. We're fourth in the world in terms of military, which ain't too bad, actually. And hopefully we can win this war quick enough so that we don't lose too many ships. Because if we lose the ships, we lose the ships, that's not very good now, is it? No, it's not. Very, very not, boy. No, very, very not. Hopefully, we can get. Oh my God, the ships look so bad. Come on, finish the war. <laughs> That's all right. These ships are expendable, and we're making a good amount of money right now, so I'm not too worried about it right now. The professor, if you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. Control intellectuals. Go and control the intellectuals. Why not? Oh, it's looking so bad. Come on, just take them out. Take them out. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Agreed. Hey, a first conquest of the campaign, really. I don't count Tripoli for the first conquest. There you go, and we got to improve our military. I'm going to immediately build a naval base because we need stuff to repair. Um, oh, wow. Okay, well, whatever. Now, wow, they ally with a lot of people down here. Brunei, Sulu, Kalimantan. Well, technically, I mean, we're not at war with anybody yet. And we do have one army down here. This would be nice to get. Kalimantan, though... Honestly, that would probably be better just because we already have the region undone, so Borneo, they have a lot of population. In time, though, this will all be super important to have under us, including this area, so... Bone? If I just siege these guys out, that wouldn't be too bad. I don't think we can get that many guys under us, so we have to fight Sulu, which is over here. Which, they're actually in, like, the Spanish sphere, so we can't really do much about that. But with Sulu and then Bone is over there... I can't imagine they do would be able to do too much against us, even though that would be really nice to get. I think Kalimantan would be okay to do. Demand concession? We could try that. I think we'll do okay, but since we already took him out, I'm going to have to go ahead and save scum a little bit. So I will see you, and I know I know that people don't like it when I save scum, but it's just a necessary evil. I'm going to see you when we're ready to go back to war, and hopefully Egypt won't be trying to kill us off just yet. Alright everyone, and here we're at, and our army isn't looking great. But, I think it should be good enough to go to war with Kalimantan. Now, this might all be wrong, bad ideas to do, because we can only take South Borneo, but that's okay with me. That's totally, totally fine. We want a concession from them. Also, we allied with the Austrians, I believe, right? Austrians, yes. Yes, we did, for now. For now, we'll see how well we go with them. So, we should do okay with these guys. As long as we can siege down these three areas, that's the most important thing. Our ships aren't looking very good. Especially since we need to build up more ports, but we need a lot of cement for that. Actually, we could spend a lot of money on buying stuff, which I already technically am spending a lot of money on buying stuff anyways, but... Actually, let's see... Buying artillery is very, very expensive. Very, very expensive. Actually, you know, I'm going to attack these guys first. Why? Just because if, it, if we let them mobilize, they could become very, very... At least a little stronger. And we have these units for now. I'd, I'd rather attack them now, so... Also... Egypt. I'm doing this because I want to command your units. Call an ally. Good. And then we should do we should do okay. I mean our money's all over the place right now. It is all over the god forsaken place. Oh. Uh they have 
14 military score, which is not bad, not as good as us, of course, and we got two prestige as well. Give me your units, because we totally know what to do with them. And, uh, yeah, we totally love Egypt. Here, go to the desert. Here, go to the desert. <laughs> um, oh, this is, their, this is their fleet? All right, head on down there, and uh, I'm totally not sabotaging them for later on. Totally not. Yeah, totally not. So, let's, let's uh, spend some time over here. Our bureaucrats are still trying to improve the taxation or administrative efficiency of our soldiers. Also, I forgot, did I tell you guys yes? I can't even remember this time anymore, but I was found out. I got 0.3 more infamy, so 0.3, that ain't too bad. That really ain't too bad, so. Over here, I'm going to continue to try to maybe increase relations with other people, maybe like Prussia, because we're allied with Austrians, but the Russian Empire, man. Like, I want to make sure that we don't get, you know, whacked by the Russians too hard. It's 1838. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, we're not looking good here at all. Also, we got to double check this too. Let's make sure that our guys are looking okay. 3,000 more soldiers. Uh, where did I put the army? Because we did, we were making another army around here. Hmm. Do we make any more soldiers? Yeah. Sophia. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, well. We gotta keep an army over here, so. I'm gonna put you guys over here. And actually, I'm gonna take away these guys. It's just not worth having a regulars. It's just not worth it. And then I'll throw more soldiers over there. So we have one infantry coming over. And then we have two infantry. So really need we need two more infantry, but really three more cannons. Let's make it four, five, and then maybe we need one more of this. Albanian guys? Why not? Cool. Wow, we are losing a lot of money just because I'm trying to buy more artillery. Let's go and stop buying so much artillery then. There you go. Way less artillery needed then. Oof, it costs so much. Uh, Supply-wise, it's exactly the same. doesn't matter. There you go. Have we lost any ships? No, they're just kind of stagnant for now, though. Which is totally fine. Whatever. Alright, alright, alright. Let's siege these guys down. Get worse the troublemakers? Sure, why not? I'm not even going to read that one. So how much score do we need? Oh, we probably need more... I need talk with the war leader, eh? French intervention into Mexico. Demand reparations, huh? Oh, we can just demand him already? Uh, that would be good to lower our infamy. These guys... Let me spend more time with lowering this. But then again, if we go to peace now, I can probably just go ahead and try to get to Brunei, because I would really, actually really like to get Brunei under us. Because we can establish a protect protectorate, so that would actually be very, very good. So, I'm, I'm, as you can see, early on, I'm trying to get as much of this territory as possible. So, let's go ahead and peace out. That would be okay with me. Get one more month of lowering our infamy, and we can do that stuff too. So. Wait, oh, wrong, wrong person. We need Sulu. There we go. We got it. Nice. Very nice. And they, just like us, they allow slaves down here too. Cool. Now, obviously, they're not looking too strong. They're not that strong, so we're going to go ahead and start justifying. And we need more, a few more diplomatic points. Whatever. If that's the case, I'm already going to go go ahead and cut down the military spending just a little bit. Just because we're not looking too good with all that red. So do that. That looks good. Go ahead and do this as well. And do some of that as well, because that's costing us pretty much most of the money. So I will be right back once again. And we shall continue with our little Southeast Asian island conquest. I've just gone to war with Brunei, and we're losing a little bit of money, but hey, it's just money, right? It's just money. Let's let our soldiers move right on in, and I guess we're now at war with Bone, of all things. But we do have a factory here, and actually, I did not get caught this time at all, which is, well, that's a really good thing. And where are they headed to? Sin Tiang? I'm going to wait for them to get down there. There we go. And try to find them and kill them off. Hopefully this goes by very smoothly. Ah, very smooth. Just take out the capital. Just go and do that. 15th in the world for industry. Not bad. Yeah, it's really risky against time. So, engage your enemy. And also, we have finished... Where was it? Education. Positivism. So, there we go. 8% of our population can read. Not great. But it was 7 or 7.5% 7 before, so... Could be worse. Could be actually a lot worse. Right now we're building up. Actually, we got four factories in total. Um, Zayad grants extraterritoriality. Ter News reaches us from Zaidi or Zaidi. They decided to allow foreigners to be tried according to the laws of their native countries. Doubtlessly caused by pressure from within the circles of the great powers, they 
These are good news, ne nonetheless, or nevertheless. Prestige and influence. Okay, cool. I guess probably we should be sphering these people, too. I'm honestly not sure who to sphere, since we do have two Sicilies with us, which is very nice. We are still allied with Austria. We're probably good to continue sphering Serbia and the Rom what will eventually become the Romanian nation, so... Them and Wallachia, right? Moldavia, Moldavia. Um, I swear on my alphabet. M O M N O. Moldavia. There we go. Cool. That's probably good to sphere, right? Cool. And we're still making more divisions right now. Battalions, whatever you want to call them. And their army can't really support it. We got our, we got actually more artillery, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Because I'm trying to make these guys eventually to be the normal four one five four infantry divisions one. Our, uh, cavalry division, and then that's good. Um, five artillery divisions, and I'm still going to see these guys down. Like I'm going to ruin their army before they even go to war with us. And that's why I'm continually going to war, just so I can ruin their army. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Even though we can delete them, I'd rather because you look at this. Some of the divisions are just so weak. I'd rather ruin the population for them. So actually, just send them all this way. And I guess he's still their ships here, so. Let's see what happens. I'm really not too worried about it. Good, once this is done, that'd be great. We're losing a lot of money. Things cost a lot. I've already went all the way down to construction. Yeah, and I actually, I lowered the tariffs too, just because we could buy some more things, but if we do that, we really don't get that much more money. But it might help a little bit, maybe. Maybe a little bit. Not too much, so. It is what it is. 8.1% of our population can read. And let's double check our national focuses. 77%. 76%. My goodness. That takes so long to get enough bureaucrats. So long. And we could use a few more liberals in the upper house, really. I mean, that's we could we could really use more liberals. Actually, let's keep an eye on these guys. 27%. Just go ahead and merge them all together. We... No? Okay. Well, whatever. Oh! Oh, uh, yeah. You are Jacobin rebels, huh? 2100, not looking too good. It looks like we probably have won the Siege of Brunei. Great. Got on down here. And actually, I would like to get, take Sulu as well. But we can't quite do that yet. Because we have a truce with them. Go figure. God, I wish we could merge. Actually. Wait, no. Oh, is this our own division? Whoopsie. That is our own division. My bad. My bad. Goodbye. No wonder we can merge them. Duh, Mr. Mocha Lover. I never claimed to be a great person at Victoria 2. I just play for fun. Hopefully. And we should have an able down here soon, too, so. Give it a few more days. And I'm not exactly sure when the Egyptians do revolt. So, see what happens. I mean, this is... This is really pretty cheesy and gamey to do this, but at the same time, you know, whatever hurts them might help us. Especially if they love us. The Egyptians. I'm sure they really, really love us after we're just stationing them in the desert. Oh, it's so mean. So cruel. Oh, look, they're just dying in the desert. I mean, you know, I was watching ISP do something like this. And we could just delete the divisions, but I'm not that mean. Let's at least get this second province and see if we can take them out. If not, we probably need to get this province as well, so. So gamey to do this, but it's alright. It's gamey to save scum anyways, but, you know, whatever. I probably want to get Kutai just because we can. Get as much of this island as possible, because this will be a valuable island to have eventually. What is even this island name? Well, this is obviously Borneo, but... Bone? What do you want? No? Ooh, we could have Wargold, but really it's just Brunei. Yep, we need to get more of this. Hopefully we can siege them out fully. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Oh my gosh, that's so devastating. And they still have the ships here too, so... Actually, their ships are looking better than ours. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so bad of me. So bad. I mean, if we have to, we will send soldiers this way. I mean, we're like two-thirds, three-quarters of the way done making this. Our ships actually aren't looking that good at all, really, to be honest with you guys. So, this is all long-term planning. That's what I'm calling it. Long-term planning. This is not looking good. Wow, we have you in that single digits. Oh, my goodness. That's probably not the way to start off playing as the Ottomans, but hey, you know, it is what it is. 20th in the world for industry, that's not good enough. Bosnia, Trebizond. Could use more prestige, so. Really, there's not much here we can do with with what little we can build. How do we get more cement factories? Oh, 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 we did this too. Nice. Alright, let's go. We got a score already. Oh, the Opium War. Hey, Brits. Oh, you kinda like us, actually. Increased relations. And with the Austrians, we're looking pretty good. With these guys, we're looking pretty good. 
with the Russians, eh, go to peace of two, and with the French, do the same thing. Now, we're at war with these guys. Can we just peace out with you guys? No, well, no. Hmm. So be it. So be it. So be it. We should not, I should not have spent all those diplo points. We really shouldn't have. Oh well, we got point six. It's not hurting our budget too badly now, is it? And they actually don't have that much of a score. So, I mean, we could probably ship soldiers over. Shouldn't it cost our guys too much strength, hopefully? So. There we go. Can we propose peace? Yes, we can. Nice. Very good. Not bad, actually. Oh, we can build a port here, too. We'll build in Brunei. Cool! So, I'm going to go and do the same thing as we did earlier, and this will be the last nation we probably try to take out. Let's up to it, and I'll see you back one more time. Alright, everyone, and here we are. Let us go ahead and go to war with Kutai, and I have not been found out yet. We have less than now 10 infamy, which will probably never go lower than that for the rest of this campaign. But, hey, at least it's the beginning. Alright, let's go ahead and do this, and we're looking okay, and we're going to go right on in. And, do they have any, uh, no, they don't have any allies. Good. Also, we built the naval base here. We're still doing romanticism. 8.4% of our population can read. And our ships can actually be used, finally. Thank goodness. And we have one whole still industrial score. Go figure. So, oh, yeah. Russians, yeah. Russians be Russian. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm just, just go straight on in. Just go straight on in. As we did before, just kill the enemies off. And we'll take over this island and we'll have a good time. Well, maybe our soldiers won't. Oh, and don't want to forget. Wow, these guys are not looking good. Egypt. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Actually, we are just below America in score right now. They have... Oh. Cathiri grants extraterritoriality. Cool. Thanks for the prestige. Hey. And look at that. Now we're above America. Now that's pretty nice. It's probably not going to happen until the very end of the campaign. Which will we'll, we'll be... Oh, crap. Well, Egypt has officially become independent for some time. Now that independence has become all too apparent and Ottoman mastery over the Orient is threatened. Either we must take steps to rectify the situation and assert dominance once and for all, or admit to the world that our power is little more than an illusion. There are those who feel that a peaceful solution is possible, and that the Egyptians might better serve as powerful allies than as implacable or implacable enemies. But that requires us to surrender our claim to Egyptian lands as well as an affront to Ottoman pride. In case of war, you need to enforce the make puppet see beyond Egypt to inherit it. Egypt is part of the empire? Oh. We're willing to negotiate a settlement. Um, well then... Well, I was hoping this wouldn't happen anytime soon, but here we are. We're already at war, so it doesn't even really matter to me at all. So, okay, we're going straight in. And I've, honestly, we, we've abused their soldiers so long, so far. I'm not super worried about this. Underground printing press. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. What, if they want a printing press? You know, we can have some harass parties. I'm okay with that. That's totally cool. I come to Al Alorish. I was not expecting to go to war while we had this going on at the same time, but hey, whatever. Things happen, right? And I can't. How big is their army? What's their, what's their military score? Hopefully, no one intervenes. 21. They have mobilized, so that's good to know. That's very good to know. Be aware of that. And as we're building up another army here, of course we are. Good. Oh, hello. Oh, God, you're going through. Oh, well, they died. Hello. Goodbye. Gosh dang it, they keep spawning more soldiers, so I can't really get to them fast enough. That's alright. They'll die soon enough. And I wasn't expecting this to happen yet, like I said, but hey, as long as we're here. Make a puppet CB on them. Well, as long as they're mobilizing and we can cut them down. And we have no artillery on this army, too, so. Oh, that's actually quite a few guys. Are they in the mountains? Grassland Hills. Defense, that's not too much better. It's fine. 6,000 of them died. Good. Ooh, it's going to be really risky to try this. Oh, hopefully we can win. Oh. We're losing. Oh, we put our soldiers in. Okay, it seems like we're winning. They do have some artillery, but... We, no, we have artillery. That's good. Head on over here, guys, to Aleppo. Oh, old jokes. Still seventh in the world. Hello! Cool. And I'm going to send you guys up here. Too much attrition is not a good thing. Ain't that right, guys, down here? And actually, let's see. 86%. 89%. Oh my god, it takes forever to do that. It takes so long. 21 military score. Add war goal. 
Actually, the clothes piece become a puppet of us? Yes, please. That would be become very nice. Now, over here, let's just make sure that we're still in good relations with MB with... Oh, yeah, they do like us, so that's, that's quite good. Good relations with the UK. We love the UK for now. In the future, that will probably change as our alliances shift and form and go all sorts of different places. Now, I am keeping one army up here next to the Russians here, but the Balinese influence? A group of Ottoman entrepreneurs recently spent time playing ba Balinese officials with fine wine and favors at a formal fair in Bali's legation quarter. The result is promising in a number of young business ventures and trade deals, giving the Ottoman Empire greater sway over Balinese affairs. All these men require now is a government support. Ooh. Well, I'll have our permission to continue, but we cannot offer no support. We'll do that one. I don't want to lose any money for now since we're already in this type of war. How's this looking over here? Not bad. Just barely started. And we're still trying to do a romanticism. Actually, can I call my allies? They will not accept. No go figure. Hejaz? Nope. Ah, here. Qatar. Qatar will definitely help out, right? No, okay. Uh, I think we're up, we're alone in this one. It's all right. Things happen. The Katia? You guys should be done very soon too. I should really use you guys to find enemy armies, but whatever. It's fine. Hama? 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 The faster we get out of these wars, with the better, but whatever. Oh. I stay there for now. I'm ready to move this army down if we have to. Ums, 22,000. That's only infantry. If we're fast enough, we can attack and do well. Okay. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Nice. Oh, well, they're all dead. Oh, we got them. Hopefully, we can win this battle too. They just broke their lines with. Oh, they allied with. Hello, Prussia. Yes, please. Well, they're sending in a lot of guys, so we'll see what happens. Oh, I saw you guys up here too. Forgot about y'all. Hopefully, we can win this one. I um, mean, they're mostly just mobilized soldiers, so they're not that great. And then Egypt is still uncivilized, so. Oh, that is nice. That should be more than enough to handle those guys. Oh, this is so sad. So many Egyptians dying. I mean, I already put so many of them in the desert anyways, yet they just don't want to die more and more. Uh, since we're already war, I'm not really too worried about this. Go and do stuff like this, even though you're really not looking good. Holy crap. Uh, will they piece us out normally? Because I don't want to spend the points with these guys. Ah, uh, we'll do it anyways. Nice! Look at that. This place has more population. Thank you very much. And head on back home. This island is Ottoman age already. I love it. Not too bad, then let's finish this war off. This will be great. Trablos. Trablos. Very good. Famine strikes state. While well, epidemic and widespread famine disappeared almost entirely from the Western world with the development of the modern capitalist free market system and the extensive division of our labor employed by it, combined with new advances in agricultural technologies, one of the oldest killers known to man, hunger was still claiming victims in Europe and the Americas well into the 20th century. Primarily so, of course, already, already among the poor. Famine has struck one of our states and we need to act. We must aid those starving. Sorry, I gave at the office. Um, yeah, I mean, 6,000, that's fine. Help out, or help out the people. And where are you going, son? You want to starve? Oh, look at this! Oh, wait, we still have slavery. Ooh, closed borders? Ooh. I'm thinking about going to straight to open borders. State press only? That hurts our literacy? Oh, I need to get more political awareness if we do that. That's actually not bad. I don't maybe go with... What do people want right now? Allow public meetings? Yeah. I hope they... Yeah, they definitely want that. Give you 100% more political awareness. Ooh. This gives you a plus 25% literacy impact on Khan. I definitely want... Oh... Oh... Ooh... I'll go censor press. The people don't know what they want, right? Crypto distribution. Pressure local governments to stop it. I'll keep an eye on this stuff. 91% not bad. Sieging these guys down. Oh my goodness. And... Oh, that's us. So 
we have to force them to become our puppet, basically. Which is fine. I'm totally fine with that. Now get these guys back into Aleppo. And I'm actually going to send you guys down... Well, I guess here first. Get them in Aleppo, and then we'll have them. There you go. There you go. Side advantage. And much more of an advantage. Thank you. Oh, are these guys at war too? Ooh. Oh, they're fighting quite a few different people. Eh, we still have to kill them all sometime, though. And they're headed to Damascus. To Damascus, everyone. Ama. Romanticism's almost done. Which is very, very good. Beautiful. Good, we're going to keep heading down south. You can keep sieging whatever you want down there. Uh, oh, you know what? You are a very good army. I'm actually going to split you guys up. So, we have one, two. We need one artillery and three infantry. One artillery, which we have. One, two, three. There we go. This will be a nice army to help defend the borders. And you guys, well, I'm just going to throw you into the desert. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Nice. And they're all dead. Ooh, ooh, I want Jerusalem. I'll gladly take Jerusalem off your hands. Man, that would really suck if we got speared. But that means we'd have to be a secondary power for that to happen. Which wouldn't be very good, obviously. Ah, uh, prestige game, very good. I'm gonna go ahead and grab... Ooh, idealism. Oh, we need more research points. We really need more research points. Hello. Well, hopefully we'll finish in Ama first. Ooh, and what do we have over here? All the way at the bottom. Atmosphere, thank you. Mexico's fighting in the Republic of the Rio Grande. I play too much uh, Oral Blues. Let's see. Increase relations as well, just in case. We like the French. We don't love them, but we like the French, right? Right. Wow, we can only support up to 30 soldiers. That is not good. Good, you're done. There you go. Cut them down to size. Oh, it's going to take a while to do, isn't it? Alms. There you go. Just wait for these guys to get done. This is really hurting my army so much. Oh my goodness. Not bueno. So not bueno. Ugh. We're only 35 too. Ugh. Yeah, just go straight for Cairo. Just take out the capital. See what they have down here. Oh my goodness. Such a mess. But at least Southeast Asia is looking good, or at least our Ottoman Asia. I like the way it turned out. Do we build up any more industry around here? That might be worth it. Maybe, maybe not. It's, it's barely making any money around here. Um, maybe a cannery here. Clothes or cannery, maybe? And we'll make another cannery, because we can. Artificially inflate our industry scores so that our great power status is not threatened at all. You guys have zero score, so it's literally just waiting until we finish this war. Which should, shouldn't be too much longer, I mean... Even though we don't have a lot of armies, and our armies are actually looking really bad right now, uh, we're sieging them down, I think, at an okay-ish pace. Not a great pace, but okay-ish. You guys are there to do that. 93% of the way there, and then 91%. Could be a lot better. That's okay. Idealism will be done, hopefully. And hopefully no one else joins the war. Hopefully, come on. Kuwait? Oh. I wasn't expecting you, but is that good? I guess so. Why not? Our attention is split between so many people. My goodness. You guys head up to Damascus. That'd be good. Next up will probably be this one in Jerusalem, which would be nice. Come on. Actually, we got rid of the... No, technically we didn't annex the Egyptians. Yes, please. Uh, if we did, then... Oh! Oh! That's not good. Prussia? Yes. Now that's good against the, the Russians. In the Prussia and the Ottomans versus the Russians and the French, that's not really good. Prussia supports the Empire. We received word through the Prussian Embassy pledging the support for the Ottoman Empire in a conflict with the Egyptians. This is hard-ending news. We lose the prestige, we lose war. Oh, okay, well, that's not bad, yeah. And are they? They're not allied with the UK, which is a little sad, but hey, whatever. Oh, they really don't like us now. What the heck? Come on, guys. We like you. You don't like us, probably, but whatever. Jaffa? Gaza? Oh, you're down here, too. Good. Beirut. 
You're halfway done. Use of time, go on. El Salvadorian Thaw, not bad. Oh man. Some of the world for military houses looking again. 92% of the way there. 94.4%. Not bad, not bad. Next up will probably be actually these guys are going by very quickly, which is very nice. I mean earth is not too bad either. Hopefully we can get some more reforms done here. I hope we can. That'd be great. Because even though I've heard that it's not good to educate everyone here, I mean obviously not everyone here is a Turk in our country. And uh they might eventually rebel if they learn too much. Education can be a very dangerous thing, obviously. Apparently. Oh wait. Oh, they're fighting Prussia as Ooh, that might not be good. Ooh, actually that might not be good. Just because the Prussians might peace out with them. Which if that happens, I'll just do this off screen then. But Prussia, please. Prussia, please. I mean, at least they're sieging... Oh, they're actually sieging them out, too, with us. That's not bad, no? It's nice to have allies, right? It's always good to have allies. What's Austria up to? Actually, that's not bad. We can help dismantle Austria, then, if the Prussian wants to do stuff. Okay, the Carlos are coming back together. All right. And we'll soon have the capital. Now, now if, when I was looking this up... Apparently, there's an event that you might get that they offer conditional surrender. We don't want to do that. We want to manually puppet them. That's from what I understand. I could be wrong, but I think that's what I remember. Cairo's about to be ours. And we'll take Suez as well. Oh, we'll, just, we'll siege it down. I should say, we'll siege it down. Next up, you guys are looking great. El Alorish will be next. Making some money too. Not bad, actually. How are we looking over here? You guys are looking great, so I'm going to keep you guys in Celestra and then follow it up with making it one more. Oh god, only one more, huh? Who's next? You guys will be next. El Alorich is being sieged down. I'm probably going to go Dumyat Dum because this is this is hot to come get to. Man, I don't know how people live in the Middle East. It's, got, it's just really hot. Oof. Then again, people could say the same thing about like places that rain or are cold. Here we go, the Egyptian surrender, but I'm going to do this first. Free press. Yeah, I want more literacy. So, the Egyptians have raised a white flag, offering to abide by the Convention of London and return both Crete and the majority of the Levant to our control. Our advisors say that wrestling control of the entire country is almost impossible, and that we should take the offer while we can, and let the Egyptians go. Nah, we've gone too far so far. Oh, did the Prussians... Oh, the Prussians peace out with them. Are we so... Oh, no, we're not allied with them. Would you like an alliance? Oh, well, crap. Prussia. Baby. Oh, does anyone want to be an ally? What the heck? Seriously, does anyone want to be an ally? I do not want... I don't like this. Rush! Rush! Uh, no, okay. Um, America? Uh, I don't like this. I'm feeling a little naked here, and it's not a good feeling. This is not a good feeling, man. I'll be honest. On. I'll send those guys into the desert. And actually, being at war like this, it's really good for getting reforms. I like it. This is the longest war we've had so far in this camp, this campaign, really. This episode, really. Ah, uh, 53% of the way there. Austria, would you please? Uh, Russia. Let's keep a high relations with the Russians. That's probably a good idea to do so with them. Well, at least Russia helped out for a little bit. That's better than what I can say for the Austrians or anybody like that, so... And how are we doing over here? Uh, 95. Oh, there we go. 100%. Nice. Time for the next one. Well, actually, let's not do it there. Let's do it where we core Turkish culture. How do we How do we still allow slavery here? I mean, it's 1844, I guess. And I guess technically the U.S. still had slavery in 1944, too. But, I don't know. When did the Ottomans get rid of slavery? That's a good qu history question. It's a very good history question, actually. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. And if I was going to ask a question like, when was the last nation to get rid of slavery? When, what year was that? Well, it's still 2020 and places in Africa still have slavery, but hey, that's just me. Yeah, this is a long video. This is much longer than I thought it would be. Cool. And our army is looking god-awful. <laughs> oh my goodness. But this will be worth it in the end, because if I remember correctly, 
you can eventually get to integrate these guys once you take over all the stuff. So, but you know what? We might as well. I'll be right back, and we'll, we'll have the piece still done. All right, everyone, and the Egyptians would like to peace out and become a puppet of the Ottoman Empire. We shall gladly accept. Now our armies aren't feeling very good, and actually we're losing a lot of people every day because, well, I took the reform and we opened up the borders. But you know what? That's not necessarily a bad thing, seeing as, well, the amount of Turkish people that are a percentage of our country, well, it's going up. And if people want to leave, especially if they're minorities, so be it. But regardless, hope you enjoyed today's first episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know what other nation or area of the world we should attack next and integrate into the Ottoman Empire. And have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. And leave a like, subscribe, check out my Discord link, and of course, like I said earlier, have a great rest of your day. See you tomorrow.